So I saw Trey Lance today in the 49ers locker room and I have an update as far as his status. He's got the scooter to help him get around the facility. Obviously can't put any weight on that surgically repaired ankle and the 49ers training staff is not going to allow Trey Lance to travel with the team to the East Coast because there are two long cross country flights involved and that means that they don't want that swelling to go up on the ankle. That's usually the case if you're on a longer cross-country flight. So Trey Lance will continue his rehab here in Santa Clara over the course of the week while the 49ers are in Carolina first. And then after that, they're going to be traveling to West Virginia, the Greenbrier. That's where they've spent the last couple seasons on these back-to-back -back East Coast weeks. And then they're heading to Atlanta. So that's the update on Trey Lance. Another injury update for the 49ers, Javon Kinlaw. We spoke to him in the locker room. And he said that he's actually feeling good, that uh, he's in good spirits and he's not feeling any pain in his knee. And that I think is very significant. It's a fluid buildup issue for Javon Kinlaw that he said that uh, he actually expected following ACL surgery. He knew that this was gonna be a battle throughout the season to get his knee consistently and fully right. So Kinlaw has not practiced yet this week after not playing against the Rams on Monday, but he's in good spirits. He says that he, don't, he leans on his mom actually uh, when he needs to get through some tougher times when he's disappointed that he can't play. But to me, it sounds like Kinlaw will be available sooner rather than later for the 49ers. One more note on Trey Lance, he will attend all 49ers meetings via Zoom while they're on the East Coast. And that means he's gonna have to be up early because of the time change. All right, time for me to go home. Everybody take care as we leave Levi's Stadium and head back to San Francisco. Bye now.